Let me look. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. <laughs> Ready? No. <laughs> oh, Christ. I, I've just sat down. Okay. Ready? I've sat down a little while. <laughs> <laughs> it's sat down a it's while. been less than a minute. I know that time in your world works differently and normal time less than a minute. is like stretched out for you. We're, so what is a minute for me is like 10 years for you. We started, have we? <laughs> hello everyone oh um, hello everyone and we're here with Lawrence Croft are you giving it away look wait are you Lawrence Croft or are you, or are you Paul dressed up as Lawrence Croft okay there's a few things going on here firstly look <laughs> I needed to wash my hair this morning this video is going out late it's another lo-fi one by the way we're not at the yeah. desk we're not in some fancy area because again next week we're filming Digitizer level 2 Yes, so, and it's all systems go around here. If you could see what it's, we could it's see, crazy. it's crazy. It's like, so uh, I wish there were more hours so in I, the day. I didn't have time for my hair to dry, so I said, "Well, this video is about Tomb Raider." I had happened to have a Tomb Raider wig, which we require for Digitizer Level Two films, so I put it on. I thought it might make me look a bit like Lara Croft or a relative of Lara Croft. It just looked makes me look like Willie Nelson. Oh, my favourite. I love Willie Nelson. So, you know. What does he say? Uh, <laughs> I love, you just love Willie Nelson. Is You've got this room? weird thing about Willie I know, Nelson. I've, did I buy, no, did I buy a Willie Nelson t-shirt? I really wanted to a few years ago. Yeah, it's really I weird. I just love you, Willie Nelson. He's the best. You don't know a thing Is it about it. the road him. again? Is that his song? <laughs> True fan. Great. Real fan. True You're fan. like one of those, those teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> Those gen, what what are they, Gen, gen Z, Z, who wear heavy metal and like Saxon t shirts. Oh, or, yeah, we're going to a thing. Um, oh, exciting, isn't it? Yes, I uh, I haven't been to a, a kind of games industry event, I think, since the launch of Halo 2 in 2004. So, this is 18 years since I last went to a games industry thing. Wow, we haven't even been invited, we're going as guests. <laughs> we're just our, gate crashing with our good friend Quang, who yes. managed to get himself invited. Thank you, Quang. Thank you, Quang. We so, hope to do you proud. We haven't told them what it is. We're oh, going yeah. to, um, I don't know if it's the launch of it because it doesn't open till March, no, May, May. the 10th, May the 10th, Tomb Raider Live. So, um we're going to go and see We've got that. our bad backs. We've got our sore hands. Show your hand. And Shrek colours. Yeah, I've been painting barrels. This is still, um, by the way, a lo-fi video. We're not... This isn't a great British days out. I know I'm wearing the coat. I know. I know I'm wearing the coat. This isn't... This isn't us being... <laughs> like, I'm not being... A, I'm not in buffoon mode, is what I'm trying to say. Right. Know. You're being serious, poor yeah. mode. So we're going to go and hang out with a bunch of much, much younger YouTubers. Younger, um, with, fitter, prettier, smarter. More popular. More it's popular. What thing. hope do we have? Let's see if we survive the night. So we'll give you our review. When... We're bringing the comedy. Yes. Well, even that <laughs> is questionable. Hello, sir. There'll be details of like where it is and stuff up on screen. It's in Camden in London, but... Yes. Anyway, the Tomb Raider experience. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's the Tomb okay. Raider experience. It's by the people that did the to the Crystal Maze live experience. Yeah. So Which um, we also did... Last month, but yes. we didn't tell you about it because we're hopeless at that. Yeah, Sonia keeps insisting on me walking, but I'm not going to do that. He's going to float. No, he's, she insists on filming me walking. Now. But I'm said this isn't a great British days out video. Even I though, just wanted to even set wearing up a coat. Also, us on the way there. Also, well, okay, this is setting us up on the way there. I'm dropping a Google Maps image of where we're walking. Uh, it's not my idea, by the way, to do twinning. That's only a stupid yeah, idea. I love it. Uh, I'm embarrassed. I'm genuinely embarrassed. I, I'm proud. Doing the twinning. Yeah, love it. Yeah, yeah. So we got to go to the launch of it, um, which, <laughs> in terms of uh, timing, uh, happening the week before Square Enix offloaded. Uh, Tomb Raider and various other franchises for like basically 20 quid. It's insane. Oh, so yeah. that they can focus on NFTs and blockchain instead. Is that really yeah. the reason? <laughs> yeah. So uh so this was my first game launch, your first ever, but ever. my first game launch since It's not really a game launch though, is okay, it? Games it's an experience thing. launch. Games industry, games industry related, related video launch. game related thing. I mean, yeah. I went to lots of things that weren't game launches. I went to the opening of Sega World in, in the Trocadero in London. 
Oh. That was awesome. I got to go to the launch of The Edge in uh, Arcade in Harrow, which is Did you sing anymore. This is the Edge of Glory? I don't know what that is. What is that? What? This is the Edge of Glory. Is that the song? Oh, God, let's just stop with trying to make references that I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know the facts about. Is it a Willie Nelson about. song, Sandra? No, it's not. I wish it was. Might be, for all you know. You should... <laughs> Oh, you know about it, it might be. I mean, I feel self-conscious the fact that we're getting to go to a thing that the general public can't go to. But we were invited. It's not out of our own merit. That's very it's, true, yeah. It's not, we, like, Grand you know. pity on us. Yeah, basically, it's a pity invite. It's a pity party. So, we got to go. My previous one, I think I went, I, I was trying to remember whether it was the launch of Halo 2, might have been, oh. or whether it was the launch of the Nokia N-Gage. You don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what any of these things the are. Nokia N Gage. Is that a phone? Well, it was a phone and console in one. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Now we're interested. <laughs> uh, but weirdly, that one, that was like... Because hmm. well, this is really boring. What I'm trying to remember is... <laughs> if, Bodes well for digitizer later yeah, too. Is if I went to any... Uh, launches after I left Digitizer. I think I did go to a hey I did go to a Halo launch. I don't think it was Halo One. Might have been Halo Two. It doesn't really matter. Mm. Anyway, um, but the Nokia Engage one was the last official thing I did for Digitizer in terms of events. Oh, really? And it was really cool because we got to go up the London Eye. Yeah. And had champagne in the London Eye. Nice. I went with Gavin. Some of you may know him as Mister Others. Uh, Fancy. And then we got a boat across the river. Mm. Uh, and it was some, I don't know, it was a, I don't think it was a nightclub, but it was some weird little venue under the embankment. Oh, an but, underground club. Yes. Wow. But Lara Croft was there because she was one of the games you could get on the Nokia N-Gage. So it's all connected. Yeah. Everything's connected in this circle world. Circle of life. <laughs> yeah, circle yeah. of games. Yes. So anyway, there you go. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not, I used to be a very privileged games journalist. Now I'm just some old fart (laughs) 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 who was lucky enough to get to go to this thing with his wife. Um, So what is it? It's, um, thank you. Well, I wasn't, I was. Bless you. I was, I was putting up my hand as a barrier to stop you interrupting me and you take it as an invite to high five me. (laughs) This is my like, shut up (laughs) hand. (laughs) <laughs> Let me get the next sentence out. Okay, I'm not, I won't talk. I won't talk. No, you can talk because I've lost. No, no, I don't. What is dent. it? What is it? It's an immersive event. Yes, uh, that doesn't it, mean it's underwater. No, it, like, hours lasted about an hour. It's not meant to. It's meant to last two hours, apparently. I don't believe that. I really want to film how pretty it is here. Like this street in particular is absolutely gorgeous. Right. Little trees, house. the colour of the houses. Look at that window box frame. Hey, someone's house. If someone's going to film my house and put it on YouTube, I'll I'm flip saying out. how beautiful it is. It. Look, just like a lovely tree-lined street. It's so quiet, you would have no idea that we were in central London, almost. Would you? No, I'm not prepared there, for this. Okay, that's all I wanted to show. Like pretty tree-lined street. Thank you. So here's how it works. You, it's basically a series of escape rooms. Some of them on a very grand scale. So bearing that in mind, the times that time that we were in those rooms, do you really think we could have spent twice as long? We saw yes. everything. Really? No, we were rushed through a couple of those rooms. Is it? We were we were like clapped through. Come on, moving right along a few times, about at least three times. Yeah, but they did that when we went to the we war, needed war more of the t- worlds immersive. That was not quite, quite high up. Yeah, but that wasn't an escape room. Okay, are we allowed to say the rooms? Yeah, but let's give a spoiler warning okay, so before we do. Let's talk about the experience of going in there. So, all right, because part of I need to give a spoiler alert to talk about being rushed we'll through. We'll give a spoiler. I don't think it's really going because it's about the experience. I don't think it's really gonna. No. You know, if, yeah, we're not going to give you the answers. If you can imagine to the clues. Yeah, if you can imagine what a Tomb Raider live uh, immersive experience is, it it's everything you think. It probably is. It's based upon, rather than the classic games, it's based more upon the new games and the film. So you've got this weird, or the films with uh, is it Alicia Vikander, I think it is. So you've got this weird mashup of, and you'll see why, because certain characters from games. What's the matter? No, nothing. 
Why are you smirking at me? It's like another thing that I know nothing about. (laughs) So certain characters from the games appear at certain points, certain, you know, and Alicia Vikander pops up in video form, um, giving you your mission at the start to find Oh, she was the real Tomb Raider? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was an actor that was in the place with us. But why'd they put her on the video screen? Because she was busy in another part. Of the experience. Why do you think they hid her face at the end? But at the end, I thought that she was she was really the there, but like far away from us, so that they could use interchangeable actors. Yeah, and also because they couldn't really hire a Hollywood actor to oh, no, I, I, <laughs> hang, out, hang out. Okay, I didn't, every I didn't know what? she was the Hollywood okay. actor. Yeah. I thought it was a local actor. A local actor <laughs> for local people. Our local area. When you go in, well, okay, you go down some steps into uh, uh, this, as we found out, a place that they used to store dead bodies in World War Two. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cut on to how we learned that. Later. <laughs> yeah. Um, we found a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and it had, I'm from World War Two, yeah. stuck on its chest. <laughs> I love World War Two. <laughs> 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 like, the, yeah, I love New York. I love WW. <laughs> not funny is it <laughs> yeah but they were dead so it didn't do them any good no. loving world war ii upside down heart i hate they <laughs> <laughs> just like put on all the dead bodies <laughs> so, uh, oh my god we shouldn't really joke about war that's a new low yeah that's a new really, I think we've gone lower in the past. Um, so, really? yeah, really. You go, you go in, you go down these steps, there's a, like a statue of Lara Croft. I don't know if that's permanently there because uh, mm. I lent on it and it did wobble. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I think I kicked it by accident. <laughs> I wonder why we're not invited to these things. Yeah. Uh, but then you go into the, the sort of, what I'm assuming is the entrance, but it's not very fancy, is it? <laughs> Panis. It wasn't like themed at all. all. <laughs> at all. It just looked like a bar. <laughs> like, Actually, yeah. Not even a themed bar. Like, just it looked like a temporary Maybe that's bar. a corporate thing. Anyway. Maybe that's a corporate thing, yeah. So, um, so we were there. By, by the way, we were there with, you know, we were schmoozing with our celebrity YouTube friends. You yeah, know, the likes schmoozing of and Bex, Trista, DJ Slow, John Robertson, a.k.a. Robertron, uh, and who else was there? Hello, Grizz. Nostalgia Hello, nerd. Ellie, everyone who we were on our team. Yes. Nostalgia nerd. Quang. Quang. Of course. Yeah. Quang, Quang's omnipresent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. You don't need us to name drop all our people that we know. Uh, so you, anyway, so you go in, you weren't allowed to drink beforehand. When I mean, you came no. out afterwards, they gave you a black wristband. Um, you're thinking about death again. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Uh, they gave you a black wristband to say you've been through the experience so you could get drunk. Yeah. yeah. Uh, free you drinks. I haven't to. had that in years. That was great. I didn't even have one. <laughs> I don't know why you didn't have one. I, was, I don't know. And they were canapes. Yeah. I didn't find out where they were coming from. Otherwise, I had a, col- I, I had a piece of cauliflower. I, yeah, I wanted more canapes, but that <laughs> man. Thanks, Quang, by the way. I see why you offloaded him. <laughs> you loved him. I did, but I was also hungry. I wanted canapes. I was what, torn people between. Were talking- were walking around offering you canapes while you were talking yeah, to him. Yeah, I was grabbing them while I could. Oh, I should, you should have asked me to grab some Where we were you. standing, by the time the canapes came yeah. to us, they were the manky canapes at the end of the... The cauliflower yeah. pieces. Well, uh, no, They were so. nice. They were nice. Anyway, this isn't for the public. Public don't get canapes. <laughs> or free drinks like us. I've got water. Team Raider live experience. <laughs> this is it. It's not, they're not open yet. Look, there's an actual proper YouTuber there. That's DJ Slope. He's here. So uh, I'll tag him in this and uh, we can say it's a collab. That's how you do it, I think. What are you looking forward to the most? Having a lay down afterwards. 
Are that you, is quite are you scared? Because we found out that there might be a zip line in there I don't and we might get wet. The only thing I can't do is uh, is climbing with those little climbing walls. Well, because, yeah, because look at your hand. Well, it's not so much for, for that. Well, I know my hand's green. Just ignore that. <laughs> it's my toes, my arthritic toes that I'm worried about because uh, I can't. Yeah, I've got big feet and my toes don't really work too good. So uh, I can do anything, mostly, unless it says running, climbing. Walking fast. Walking fa I can, well, I can trot. Um, I just don't want to... I, 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 look, if, if the bulk of it is sitting down, using my mind, I can do that. I can use my mind. All right, mind thinking, powers are coming from thinking. you. That's it, I'm, I can control... You can find creative solutions. Control the flow of the, the puzzle solving. That's what I'll do. Excellent. Lead. I'm a natural born leader. So anyway, you go in and you're in Croft Manor. This is spoilers from now Oh on. yeah, spoilers. Ooh, ooh. That was a bit weird, that bit, wasn't it? I loved it. it was... Oh, I love like oldie, schooly rooms like that. But yeah, but it was more like a little corridor in Croft Manor. It was like a library. Library. It was okay. meant to be a library, but it was a very small, cozy library. So they... But it was very nice, and they. I love how um, even there they incorporated smells. Yes. So it wasn't just it. You had it was all a multi sensory experience. I yes. mean, it looked phenomenal. This is one thing I have to say overall about the the whole uh, experience was the set design set dressing was phenomenal i have a slightly different opinion on that but really we'll, we'll, i'll talk about the sets as we go through them. oh okay uh yes 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 so uh, we can't but we don't want to give away too much. i nearly said something and then it was like i don't want to give that I'll away talk about that's general we'll just give you a, a, a vague overview of going through i mean all this stuff you can find but it's online. fair enough to say that they incorporate smell as well as sound yes. and, and vision, emotions. So in there, we uh, I'm going to try and reveal what happened without revealing what happened. Right. We luck. we just basically started ransacking this lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think we were meant. Yeah, to. we were split into teams of eight. Is that right? Yeah, eight. Um, and we started ransacking this library, but then something happened when I touched a thing that. Yes. Uh, and we oh, ended God. up. What? I just said, uh, oh, okay. you can cut that out. No, it's staying in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, well. Then uh, we ended up in, do we say where we ended up? Mm. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> We ended up in spoilers, Finland. Where that was so cool. Oh my god, it smelled amazing in there. It's piney. It, it smelled so good. Smelled like a freshly cleaned toilet. It, well, yeah, but it was pine. That's pine. the scent of pine, and just like the whole way they decorated it was amazing. Absolutely phenomenal. We we're in the woods, basically. Yeah. So nothing really happened. Snow. Nothing really happened in the woods apart from we met some guy. Yes. And then we ended up in a cabin, or mm -hmm. we were rushed into a cabin where that was uh, our first escape room. Was our first proper escape room. Mm -hmm. So be warned, the the game actually at points gets quite physical. At, yes. Up to this point. It wasn't, but then we ended up having to crawl through a hole. Yes. Where we ended up in the back of a truck. Oh yeah, that was really cool. Don't where, give away don't give away I what happened in the truck. No, 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 don't. What I can say is is in the truck. We were the two worst. I mean of it the was embarrass team. it was embarrassing. <laughs> I mean the everyone Let's else Let's just say the truck used our weakest skills, weaker than maths. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The think, only way it would have been worse. I think that was a weaker we were... skill than maths for me. Yeah, and that's yeah. Let's just say uh, we wouldn't make a very good Robin Hood. <laughs> Either of us. Don't give it away. I haven't given it away. Yeah, but people, people can put two and two some together. Some people might never have heard of Rob, Robin Hood, like you haven't heard of Willie Nelson. No, I've heard of Willie Nelson. I love Willie oh, Nelson. Okay, well they might not know Robin Hood's main thing. Well, I'm pretty sure Willie, Willie Nelson sang yeah. "On the Road Again." Okay. Which yeah. is an amazing song. Yeah. Anyway, it turns out we're, we're terrible about robbing from the rich and giving to the poor. Yeah. We're really bad at it. So then there was that. And then we ended up, I think... In a ship. Yeah, in a ship. That was... Oh, again. For me, was the most impressive set. Was it the most impressive? It was... 
<laughs> oh, I should say, by the way, the truck thing was a kind of skill-based game. Yeah, which... Which we, which is why for which so t- long I didn't play any games because but, video games. What I will also say about it well, still is, don't, but. is that it was actually interactive, but no one knew it was interactive because, as it turns out, they were all pretty bad at it. No one was as bad as us. Was it interactive? Yeah, we. I spoke to the manager, I think, afterwards, and turns out, yeah, Slope and I spoke to the, the oh, get the, out the of woman here. Who ran the place. Okay, so. Yeah. If you're going to do it, brush up on your skills and you might get to experience the skills. interactiveness. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the ship bit Forest was... Forest dwelling. The ship bit was visually, for me, the best set. Yeah, However, the it was ship pretty was phenomenal. also the most obscure, chaotic escape room. And this is where I felt we were rushed through the ship bit. Yeah, we were. It was like, it wasn't really... Fu- Our actress was... She was possibly the best actress out of all of the escape rooms we were in. Right. Um, so it's not her fault, but it's like we weren't really clear on what we were meant to do. And then all of a sudden it was like, okay, moving right along, go on, rush yeah. to the next bit. And we hadn't I don't I don't feel we had received enough time in that room. It wasn't clear and enough. And I believe what we were I'm not alone it. in feeling this way. No. Uh someone in our group also apparently said that they'd spoke to someone and sort of said that it was the 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 they'd pitch the difficulty too high of what was meant to happen. Right. Also, we heard rumours that you can get a bit wet in that room. That didn't happen when we were doing it. Um, Which is why we were told to wear athleisure. 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 (laughs) No, (laughs) So We were told to wear (laughs) athleisure, that famous (laughs) clothing (laughs) brand athleisure. Ooh, athleisure. We <laughs> that was like weird. Like sports clothes, if possible. Okay, athleisure. It is a thing. Athleisure is it's, a thing. It's like I athletic clothes that you wear in your leisure that. time. I have never heard of athleisure. Well, jokes on you because athleisure is a real uh, thing. Uh, I guess I'm an athole. <laughs> <laughs> um, so moving forwards, we went from there to. We did crawling again. Yeah, a lot of crawling. A lot of crawling. That was some major crawling. Uh, take some uh, medication for your back if you ha- suffer from bad backs. Uh, what was next? Or knees. After that was a zip. Am I allowed? Is that to- yeah, zip- I can say zip line because you could okay. see it from the so window. From that bit, there was it was then the it jungle. becomes the most sort of physical bit. So there was a, a shortish zip line. Mm. Which- I wouldn't say that was the most physical bit. I'd say two rooms after was the most physical bit. Yeah. But yes, we went into you, the cave. Yeah, exactly. Right, so we did the zip line down. Um, there's a big airbag beneath you. It's so not it's totally safe. It's not very high. You don't even get a harness. So that's how non-dangerous yeah. it is. But uh, it is fun. However, you know, a couple of us in the group, naming no names, were a little bit worried that because we're fat. <laughs> heavy, but what were you worried about? I don't know that I'd get on it and the whole thing would just <laughs> kind of go really? boing like that and I wouldn't get anywhere. As it turned but out, you it did. was fine. You and I'm really, really well. heavy. Getting off an airbag, there's no way to do it with dignity. No, there's not. And there, there's another airbag instant later on. So, uh, but we probably won't talk about that because it was actually one of the coolest bits, the other airbag thing. We're not going to talk about it? Okay, yeah, we won't. Yeah, no, yeah, that would give it. No, because it's don't sort spoil of it. in the, some ways the finale. In yeah, some don't spoil that. Uh, maybe we'll stop after the jungle. We won't say any more. Yeah, because the yeah. ending was really cool. So anyway, the very um, very last. So then you go into a cave, really which cool. is a, another escape room. Throughout the game, you're collecting relics. Yes, which to save the world at some point, and uh, some of them you get through self. Solving- Puzzle, some of them you just find lying around, yeah. as we did. Pluck it out of your... Yeah, bum. Um, Skeleton. I found a relic, everyone. It's brown. <laughs> Is this a relic? <laughs> 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 Sorry to everyone who's tuned into this one. <laughs> I know, uh, like genuine people looking there up. There might be people who watch this looking kind of up the reviews. Oh, he's just mind-eating some poo. No, it was a relic. Oh, yeah, relic out of his bum. <laughs> That's just where he keeps him safe. Um, all right, so it, this is my second This is my second um, note on feeling a little bit rushed. So when we, we we did the zip line and then we got to the cave door, 
we waited around for like five minutes, yeah. kind of going, oh, are we in the okay, right place? Is this the right my, thing? Uh, and then we got into the cave and we're rushed right out of it very, very quickly. But that's my whole thing about why I don't think it's any longer in any of these areas in the fall thing, or at least not significant. Because you're gonna, people are just gonna start backing up. There's gonna be cues for each of the sections. Well, they walkie talkie each other. Saying what? My group's finished. It's on its way. Yeah, but if there's longer, so then they can hurry you up. Can't. Yeah. You know. I mean, or they they time uh, the entry of each group to give them plenty of time to mm. give them like two hours. The cave section was really cool. Um, I just theming. feel like we need, yeah, great theming, amazing theming. I just felt like we needed a little bit more time in there, which, you know, up until this point, I figured that you, if the paying customers would get more time, yeah. you need more time than we had in there. Maybe in some of them, but I don't think we're talking. In the cave I don't one think, and the ship one, you de- the zip line, you didn't need any more no, time. I don't think you're going to say that it's two hours. I don't think it's well, going to be maybe an long. hour and a half. Maybe, a bit longer. You just needed a little bit longer to get the most out of it and to give you greater chance at success. Mm. Um, I mean, our group still did pretty well. Mm. But, yeah, I, I felt I felt we were being rushed through a bit quickly through there. Mm. And, and I chalked it up to it just being us testing out the place. So, by all means, it, it uh, we might not be – giving the experience that a paying customer would yes. get. Yes. Uh, there was a big, long tunnel that we crawled through at one point. Up, yeah, up, that was ne- uh, after. Was that was after the yeah. cave? I can't yeah. remember where it came. I'll tell you. Okay, tell me now. No, we're not up to that bit yet. <laughs> oh, then we came out of the cave. We, came, <laughs> we came out of the cave and we came to... This is the next section out of the cave for me was the most physical section. Yeah, the good thing is, it, if any of the things you don't want to do because you feel you can't, they do let you skip it. I yeah. mean, what I will say, it's not very accessible friendly. They they do say on the website, you know, we try to make it accessible. But if you're in a wheelchair or you've got other mobility issues, it, you're you not, might find it a bit too challenging. Yeah, or boring because you're just kind of going down emergency back stairs the whole time or yeah. lifts or whatever. It isn't, yeah, unfortunately, it's not mobility friendly, uh, to be honest, as an experience. But then neither was Crystal Maze. No. So, yeah. you know, um, but anyway, just to say. So, yeah, then you're in the per- Puerto Rican jungle. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, again, the theming was exceptional. Like, the theming was good phenomenal. in there. The jungle was good. So, so cool. So cool. Like, I would give a million points to whoever designed that mm. and put it together. So we can drop, we drop some video in of that. But it's basically there. It's a little assault course where yeah. you're scrambling around on your belly and climbing over one of those A-frame yeah. rope things. That's it, really, isn't it? It's not much more. And than balancing that. across some stuff. Okay, yeah. In in and all the while looking for relics. Yes, which we found a few in there, didn't we? In places. Yes. Could could involve some climbing, but. Not if you don't want to. Yeah. Uh, what I will say is, I'm not a very physical person. I found it fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Um, I, I, I. I did get a little bit scared when I was at the top of the climbing frame. Did you? I started to get wobbly. It's not very. I high. get scared at everything. That's true. So you do. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> what's new? Someone coughs and you scream. No, um, that's fine. It's physical fear. Physical fear. Physical challenges fear like heights and mm. stuff climbing mm. Mm. anyway so is then the next bit was the crawling through the the next bit you come to a giant tomb was it oh, a tomb yeah. or a pyramid oh it or was both? wasn't it a big kind of yeah mayan or aztec type pyramid and you go in and that there's a lot of crawling a yeah. lot uh, in a lot of cla- if, crawling and if you're claustrophobic or this don't is like your the dark. warning yeah very dark very enclosed space I thought it was really cool. I loved that. Yeah, I didn't That was it. really cool. That was well done. Yeah. Great idea. And then... And then there's a secret d- bit that we're not going to tell, tell you about. And then there's another secret And then there's bit. another secret <laughs> bit that kind of ends it. That we're not going to tell you it's about. It's the ending, which was like, again, the theming was spectacular. Absolutely amazing. Now, I have a slightly different view of the theming Really? You. Some of it I felt was a bit... Um, Look, this has obviously cost a huge amount of money. Yeah, a lot. During a pandemic. Uh, some of the theming I felt was a bit... Some of it was spectacular. Some of it was a bit cheap. Like what? Well, okay. 
the the forest in Finland where you know I could no. touch the I could touch the ceiling. But okay, that's just that's the not trees which the just end, end at the theme. That's yes. not the theming's fault. That's like the size of the room and the the business design of the building. And they have put like and it was a really across. old building that you can't just they like put branches across. Oh, maybe. Yeah, see, you see to hide the yeah, pipes. Then you would have had to walk like. Well, so what? Maybe it was health and safety reason that they couldn't hide the pipes. Maybe because of water sprinklers or something. Yeah, fire hazard needs to have the pipes. Clean. Anyway, that was that's. I I thought, I thought the theming was broadly really good. Just but, don't look up. <laughs> I know it's Never hard. Look up. It's hard when you're me. My eye line is you know, <laughs> is up. Is up naturally. Yeah, my eyes just like I'm like to look forward like this. It real really hurts my my muscles here. <laughs> I'm thinking, Concentrate to look down. Um, so, uh, prices. Prices. Again, we may differ on this. Everyone in our group were kind of like, bloody hell, that's expensive. Because I think weekends, it's like... For one hour. That's... Or, or maybe an hour and a half, don't know. I thought for two hours, I was like, I probably wouldn't have paid for it. And if I had kids and I was taking them, which I'm sure they would love, that's going to be very expensive. Well, if you go during the week, I think it's £66. Yeah. If you go at the weekend, it's a sliding scale. It's £99. So it's 100 quid basically. So if you've got a family of five, that's 500 quid for this experience. Yeah, sorry. Um, that's too much. However. I'd pay £30 for that. At the same time, it it is comparable, unfortunately, to, you know, West End ticket prices for new shows, for musicals. It's comparable to, uh, you know, all right, those, you know, if you're up in the gods, you, you might get cheaper and normally deals and things. But it's compar- comparable to a big stadium concert. Um, mm, I suppose. You know, the, yeah. you, you've got to bear all that in mind. That's true. Uh, but, you know, and this is, is, it is on a grand scale. It is sort of interactive. It is. But Crystal Maze was a little bit, more affordable i think it was 50 was it 50 ish i don't know don't quote us on that that was during the week as well um Mm. and i feel it was a little bit more involved a little bit more interactive Mm. i as an experience i think i preferred tomb raider because it was more varied i felt Mm. and i like that we worked as teams i mean for me they were both so they were different so Mm. equal Equal in Both how much good. I enjoyed them. Both. I know that some people, um, some people said they preferred Crystal Maze because it had that nostalgia factor to it. Yeah. Uh, which because I've never seen the show, I I didn't have that. So I loved I loved the experience. It was great. But I'd say it was for me. It was e- without the nostalgia factor. It was kind of equal with Tomb Raider, although mm. it was a little bit more interactive, like and involved. Well, so I don't know. I like mm. I like the fact that there were physical things in Tomb Raider. Yeah, I, like, I loved I, it. I like the Absol- fact that yeah, you, know, I loved you had, it. I had the best or... time. I had the best time. It was yeah. so much fun. I really enjoyed it too. Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe they'll have deals out on prices. Like if you can get a deal or you're really rich and it's like 100 pounds, <laughs> like matter. 500 pounds for my whole family. I mean, I guess not everyone has to pay for their whole family. Some people are just going by themselves. Yeah. Why um, Paying for themselves. In which case... It's a good experience to have. It's good. It is really good fun. It's a fun day out, evening out. But whether it's worth the price, well, you'd have to be the judge of that. You'll have, yeah. Um, you know, they might. They might end really up doing say. deals or discounts. In which case, I'd say it's fun to do if you yeah. can. There, there are probably going to be other reviews of this by some of the people that we went with. I know that not everyone in our group was as positive as us. Uh, some people felt the theming really wasn't up to snuff. Really? Uh, oh. And that not all of it worked. I mean, I'm of the belief with most of these sort of things that you're just kind of going, like, well, I'm lucky to have done that. I, and, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm I lucky did, that yeah. this exists. And yeah. Yeah, that was a great way to spend an hour. I mean, kids would love it. Adults yeah. would love it. It was, if you, if you like interactive experiences, mm. It really was so much fun. It's so and it's so good to do with a group of friends because then you've got something to talk about afterwards mm. and you've got that shared experience. It's kind of like a bonding experience. Um, bonding, yeah, bondage experience. Bonding. <laughs> uh. 
Um, <laughs> and it was, yeah, good fun. It was good fun. Uh, I just wish it was more affordable. But, but then maybe they don't want it to be more affordable because then too many people would. Or maybe they just don't want poor people there. Maybe. One last thing I will say is afterwards, uh, Quang, with a with a cheeky glint in his eye, introduced us to a guy called Vince Jones, uh, which is a strange name, I know. He's an artist. He designed, if any of you are familiar with Cyberdog in Camden. Oh, yeah. He designed, he was the designer of Cyberdog. He's 92 years old. Yeah. And he was wandering around with a, a book of photos of his work over the years. Anyway, he's we got, a sci-fi artist. He's a sci-fi artist using kind of reclaimed materials. We may try to get him on Digi Level Two because we swap details. Uh, very interesting. Digi Level Two, or or I thought he's or just on Digi. Oh, Digi Level Two. I thought it'd be interesting. Oh. Yeah, well, you know, we're going. It's not we, games related though. It's future sci-fi. I don't know. I thought oh. it'd be interesting. I thought it'd fit in with well, the aesthetic. Oh, he would. For sure. Yeah, his stuff. He's 92 yeah. and yeah. he's just wondering. It's he's great. It's like so much vitality. Yeah. But um, yeah, Quang, I think. Sharp as a tack Quang, as well. Quang was like, oh, well, he was offloading him onto us. But <laughs> he did like to talk Vince, uh, but he was a fascinating guy. Yeah, so, anyway, it was very interesting. That's probably it for this week. I've got to get this up because yes. it's okay. late for our patrons yes. and everyone. Yes, and we have a lot to do. We have a lot to do. We've got to get on. Uh, if this is your first time here, which it might be, because this is a slightly different video to what we normally do, uh, check out some of our other stuff, which is normally just silliness. Silliness, us doing things in a silly way, mm -hmm. isn't it? Something like that. Yeah. If, you do, if you've been here before and you like what we do, go check out our Patreon, www.patreon.com slash Mr. Biffo. There's all sorts of bonus stuff you can get on there. And subscribe, like, comment. Etc. 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 And then you want to add? Go listen to Willie Nelson. Yeah. Oh, won't be a digi video next week because we're filming. Ah, uh, yeah, true. Yeah, but I'll be sharing. Wish us luck, everyone, please. Yeah, I'll be sharing. That it goes well. Sharing stuff online, though, of yes. how it's going. Right, everyone. Be safe. Be good. Behave. We'll see you soon. Bye.